Outside broadcasts cover a very wide range of programmes, with sports springing most easily to mind. Sunday cricket from a pleasant ground at Eastport, with the vehicles parked on the grass right beside the pitch. Setting up the Grand National with a roving eye test on a misty day at Aintree. And of course three matches every week for match of the day. Here's the Southampton camera and commentary gantry. Building to the climax of the cup final at Wembley in May, a six hour live programme in which a cameraman and an engineer have the opportunity for a day spent above London, slung beneath the good ship Europa. Although when the airship went into an unexpected dive one year, the engineer was not pleased to hear in his headphones a colleague on the ground shouting, the airship's crashing, quick, run videotape. Golf is also a major rig, but at least it then continues for several days and crews can begin to feel quite at home. And driving the radio camera caddy car, though hard work, can be good fun. Another major engineering hookup is the boat race, with pictures from cameras spread over four and a half miles of river, transmitted back to the main site at Putney on radio links. There are also live pictures from a waterborne camera, in this case the Citroen Safari on a dory and from a helicopter overhead, both of which transmit to different receiving sites as the race progresses upriver. The major annual OB is Wimbledon, a very complex engineering rig. In effect, separate outside broadcasts from centre court, from number one court, and from the outside courts, with presentation and interview studios rigged inside the All England Club, and a videotape editing complex built by linking several VT vans, over 80 miles of cable are used and the rig takes a week to install and test. The Wimbledon control room can simultaneously control separate outputs for BBC One, BBC Two and Eurovision, as well as sending interviews and news items to overseas networks. However, less than half the programmes we cover are sport. Royal events present a challenge, particularly multi-camera shows through London. Windsor may be the setting for state visits or services from St George's Chapel. whilst a camera looks lost in the bridge of the Ark Royal in the solar during the Jubilee review of the fleet. And high above Dover Promenade, a camera looks for Britannia, bringing the Queen Mum to be installed as Lord Warden of the Sank Ports. Location drama can be very satisfying. Here's a scene from the palaces. The shipboard drama series Triangle was shot entirely on location with lightweight OB equipment, producing four programmes from each ten-day voyage to Amsterdam via Gothenburg and return. Henry VIII. Nationwide is always drama, though the Nationwide Yacht Race did prove a very pleasant experience for the lightweight camera crews on board. Talk of the Town is a regular venue for the light entertainment, in this case the Swingle Singers. A more unusual location was Laysen in Switzerland, where two Acton units produced a Snowtime special. Songs of Praise is a pleasant show, as the crew is always made welcome, and with the TV lighting, many congregations see their church fully for the first time. This sunset was used in a series on God and the Scientist, shot at Jodrell Bank. Also schools programmes, merry-go-round from an open-air museum near Chichester. And a camera which expired while shooting a sequence on ponies in the New Forest. Gardener's World, unusually from a new housing estate here, showing how to plan a small garden from scratch. Naturally, the viewers didn't see the tractor or cultivators. Just a wizened retainer with a spade. And who can forget come dancing? Now that's unfair, put your hands down. Looking through Radio Times for a quiet week in January, we find in addition to 11 sports locations, outside broadcasts contributed programmes from a park in the Midlands, Wembley Conference Centre, private house in Ealing, St Paul's Church, Adelston, a small theatre in North London, a Glasgow Leisure Centre, a ship in the North Sea, an arts centre in Dorset, a pub in Essex, Shepparton Studios, Bradford University and a hotel in Wiltshire. Not a bad week's work.